this device what the f this room is <gasps> Can you give me a sign? I hear you. Have you ever been like so scared one time to where you just had to leave the house for a minute or? You said you're spending the night here by yourself. Yeah. No way. <laughs> um, I had a little get together, my sorority sisters, and it was my turn to be the hostess. So I hosted it here at the Sally house. And of course I had some that wouldn't show up, didn't come, right? But in the meantime, my husband came and brought chairs and stuff forth. Well, then he left. So I was just sitting in the living room by myself and it's like, hmm that something's wrong I felt weird and I just felt heavy like I couldn't breathe something it was just heavy it was just weird I, I had to go outside and wait on the porch and sat on the porch and I was fine and my husband drove back up and goes what do you do I said I don't want to be in the house by myself <laughs> you don't think it's a good idea for me to do this alone I wouldn't I also have this device this object if you go up to it it'll start to buzz same with this one all these devices you can use to gather energy and show me that you are here Whatever it's going to take, please, don't be afraid. I'm going to set another Keppel. Hi! <laughs> yes! Wow, hi! Thank you! Can you let go? Please? Thank you. Thank you for following me up here. I'm gonna set another cat ball on the bed. This makes it a trigger object. If you can, move one of those balls. Just tap them and they'll light up. Use your energy. Don't be afraid. I've got this device that I know and I've heard stories that Sally, apparently Sally, you like to play with phones, so this one you can use your words and it's a phone. Okay, before I do use this device, I like to put it in airplane mode so that nothing can interfere. So then I open the app, start it, and see if they'll talk. There's an old show back in the 90s called The Brady Bunch. It was this house. It would have been creepy if you had it yourself. And that's what we grew up in. Our mom was out of the picture and my dad was always working at a prison, which was just about two hours away from the house. So it was just my twin and I. And we always dealt with some very demonic stuff at that house to where something just, it fed off of tormenting us and getting us scared and not letting us go to sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and set that device on the bed. Whoever was in there was starting to communicate with me. And then the cat ball had set off. Oh, cat ball. Oh, oh my God. Hi. Once the cat ball had set off, I started to feel like everything was becoming more real. All the stories that people have said about this place, it's all starting to become real. Is that your candy? Can you maybe light up the other one? The one to the left of the candy, please. My name is Ryan again. I just want to let you know my name. Maybe you can let me know your name. Maybe you could just show me that you're here. That device on the railing by the stairs. Can you make that buzz again? Had enough. Had enough. What do you mean had enough? She likes to play with her toys. She loves if you go in her room and just sit down on the floor, she'll play with her toys. It's usually in a circle or someplace and she'll start playing with you. I heard that you like to knock balls down the stairs. If somebody sets it on top of the stairs, maybe I can try. 
Maybe I can set it down here and we can give it a try. If you use all your energy, everything you have, manifest it, please. You can knock this ball down the stairs. If you can make that light up, that means you're tapping it. That means you're moving it. So you should be able to move this ball. Don't be afraid. Holy shit. I just heard movement right there. Oh, I have so much anxiety. Sally, are you in here? Can you give me a sign, please? I hear you. Got the place to yourself. I'm regretting this already. My point. I'm officially locked in the Octagon Hall Hospital. Hello, spirits. Oh, shit. something just touched my arm. What the hell was that? I guess that's like a confirmation of you saying hello back to me. That's how I'm gonna take that as a friendly hello. So there's so many spirits coming in and out of this place. It's basically a vortex at this point. There's a lot going on here. What the hell is that? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. I'm gonna go upstairs, spirits, okay? Please don't, like... Just don't do anything, man. I absolutely love alone challenges, but the problem with alone challenges is that you're alone. And if anything happens, well, you're alone. Wow, okay, this is terrifying. All right, well... Let's go into what the hell... Okay, I totally forgot that this bedroom literally has dolls everywhere, things inside of it. This is so creepy, man. I'm so scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm legit scared. I've been doing this forever. I've got over like a thousand videos on my YouTube channel, but I'm legit terrified. Apparently if you sit on this bed, things start to happen. Hey spirits, can you make this door close? Remove this ball? Apparently, Something in this room loves it when you play with the ball, so. All right, I just touched your ball. Sounds weird, I know. You wanna to touch the ball for me and play with me? So this was the bedroom of an 11 year old girl and she died in here. Not in the bedroom itself. She, I think she was the girl that was burnt in this house. There was a lot of death and the owner of the house, the guy that built it, Andrew, he built this place in an octagon shape for some reason. He, he, he was like all about the equinox. He was a Freemason. He had Masonic. Oh my god, that is crazy. As I'm talking about that, I just got the craziest headache ever. Okay, it's because I'm just like sitting here on the bed. He had Masonic meetings in this place, and God knows what else took place in this house. It's probably going to be really hard to figure out who or what is haunting this house. Because, you know, there's so many entities, there's so many beings, there's so many spirits coming in and out of this place. And it is like impossible to know who or what is the cause of anything paranormal in here. Well, I mean, it's good that that ball hasn't gone off yet. Now this is a terrifying room. This is Andrew's bedroom over here. And this bedroom is really creepy because there's so many of these weird mannequins here. Look at this. Keep in mind guys, a lot of Confederate soldiers were cut up here, you know, some of them had to be dismembered because, you know, they were so badly injured. They went through war, keep that in mind. This place was used as a hospital. At one point, there was 9,000 of these soldiers sitting outside of the property, and they were all to be fed here, and a lot of them died. There were some battles nearby, not actually on the property, but a lot of these soldiers were actually buried here, and some of the slaves that were here, because, you know, the person that owned this house was unfortunately a slave owner. This room is. Oh, what the f is that? Okay, I felt like something just touched my right arm over here.
Hello? Hello? Hello, is anyone here? Do you want to play a game? For some reason, I'm getting these like really strong cold chills. And I'm guessing this is the ladder to the attic. I was going to go up there, but this ladder looks pretty, uh, yeah, flimsy. I don't know about that. There's a staircase going down this way. That's a sharp staircase, not going to lie. Man, for a second there, I thought I'd just seen that doll move or something. I've been here for a long time, and I've done a lot of investigations throughout the country. This place is a hotbed. For a residential, I mean, it's crazy. We've got 300 acres here. The property's ancient. It sits on Palo Indian grounds. That's 3,000 years ago. There's wow. cave systems underneath of it. Oh my we God. have running water in the house. The house is on limestone. There's limestone in the area. Water, limestone, that's all magnifiers yeah. of the paranormal. All magnifiers of the paranormal. And the other thing about it is you have ley lines running through the property and then match that up with knowing that it's almost on the 37th parallel which is the most paranormal place in the world it's a ufo highway it's everything you so just have it all here though. right i know it's kind of wow. like its own little ranch second floor number four originally the gal's room which contained no direct access to the hallway but was entered by the stairway access from the master bedroom on the first floor the hallway door was added by dr williams after 1914 and they added a bathroom as well that is interesting. I have explored the upstairs. I might save the attic till the end because I'm, I'm really scared right now. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. All right guys, I am completely alone. First stop, the crypt. Here I come. All right, so I'm here. This is going off already. Oh my God, I didn't know it was that. Wait, what? I am in here completely by myself. This is where over 3,000 bodies were stored during the winter months. Oh my gosh, guys, the energy in here is so heavy. It's, it's almost suffocating. Is there a little girl here? You can come talk to me. I just heard a footstep. You can come closer, it's okay. No, that's wrong. Do I feel like there is something here that likes to pretend that it's a lot darker than he actually is? But I know that you're not demonic. You know that I know that, right? The energy's getting heavier. I just saw a big black shadow. He's okay. over there. I just got literal chills. I'm gonna sit down right here. This is where you are. This is where I was feeling you are, unless you moved. So strong, I just- Frank. Oh my gosh, guys, that said Frank. I'm saying there's a male spirit that is coming through so strong right now. What the f was that? Something just walked across the door. So as a spirit app was saying, Frank, there was a black shadow that walked across the store right now. Nobody else is in here with me. Everyone's gone. Like I am the only person in this building right now. Those footsteps that I was hearing, I even said right before I saw that, that there was something to the right of me. There is absolutely, there was somebody walking right here. Those are the doors that lead out to the bar. Holy sh that really spooked me. Because sometimes I can't tell if I'm seeing a physical person, but I Bad know- Bad spirits here. Bad spirits here. Oh my God. Are you trying to warn me? I just got like really uncomfortable. I didn't like that dark shadow that I just saw. I definitely do sense a male presence, but I think a lot more is gonna happen when I go upstairs. <sighs> Let's see if the app says anything else before I head out. I'm an angel. I'm an angel. See, I don't believe that. I feel like there is something here that likes to pretend. I just heard some sort of laugh as this said, I'm an angel. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close this session out in here. Thank you to whoever was communicating with me. I will see you guys upstairs in just a bit. I did just wanna point out that this device, what the f Oh my God, guys, I was about to say that none of these cat balls are actually working and this just rolled right in front of us. This will not turn on. 
this is not actually turning on oh my god and this device is not working right so there's i feel like there's something in here that is uh my god why is my arm shaking all right let's get out of here let's go upstairs and see what else we're, we're dealing with here out in that hallway I poured you a drink was that you so this is the room where they filmed a bunch of satanic stuff and people say that they see dark shadows back in this area here in a little bit, I'm gonna get it completely lights out. Did somebody do something with Satan in here? So what I like to do is walk around until I feel an area that just feels uncomfortable and then focus my investigation there. Actually not looking forward to going complete night vision. Definitely this room right here so far is the creepiest feeling. I'll tell you what, let's... Um, so I knew that the spirits wanted to communicate with me. So it really wasn't long. I went lights out and just started the investigation. Hello? Was there a kid in here? Okay, so right now I'm in complete darkness. So this is 100% alone in the dark. Who did we hear walking back here earlier? I'm in here by myself. Is that you? I don't know if the camera caught that, but it looked like the light. I got down. Can you hit something really hard for me? Okay, that was wild. That was right out here. I heard you. That was so freaking loud. We did not even look at this on the walkthrough. Who's back there? My name is Josh. I am just here to talk to you. I was thinking about buying this building.
Sally, are you in here? Can you give me a sign, please? I hear you. I hear you! The device just said I hear you. Can you show me then? Can you make something light up? Please, one of these balls. Or knock this ball down. Take your time. I'm not trying to rush you. I don't want to force you to do anything either. I just want to know if you're here. There you are! Hi! Hi! Don't be afraid of me. Please, just talk to me. Thank you. Did you guys see that? They turned it off, and then they turned it back on. Sound. I just heard a sound, yeah. I just heard something loud. Holy f Show yourself. There you are. Hi. Is there any way you can... Again. Look at that. Thank you. Hit. Hit! That's exactly what you have to do. Thank you. Wow. This thing is just going crazy. Can you maybe try that one? I don't know if you can. Try the other one, please. I just want to know if you understand what I'm saying. At this point, I'm kind of just sitting all over the place just to get a feel of where I need to go. A little bit later, I'm going to be making my way down to the basement where I'm very terrified to go. This is stressful. Very stressful. And the balls have not been lighting up. If you can hear me, can you make one of those balls light up again? Please. Do you like all of these dolls here? Is this where you like to play? I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave this room alone. And I have boy. the boy. There's a little boy here. Is this the little boy? Whoa. That was a loud knock. That sounded like it came from the master bedroom. This room is... Oh, what the f*** is that? Okay, I felt like something just touched my right arm right here. Hello, is anyone here? That's a sharp staircase. For a second there, I thought I'd just seen that doll move or something. I have explored the upstairs. I might save the attic till the end because I'm, I'm really scared right now. I'm gonna go down to the basement because I haven't seen that yet. And just to let you guys know that this is, or was a Freemason meeting place. Look at this, We've got the Freemason symbol. Now I have brought my SLS camera with me and I'm gonna be using that tonight and I'm friggin' terrified to use it, but it's gotta be done. But I'll probably be turning on the lights a little bit um, because SLS cameras need a lot of light. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave another cat ball over here on the dining table because throughout the night, I'm gonna be doing something cool. So this board right here is actually used to communicate. What the hell? 
What is going on? They're all sitting in the car and somehow the alarm's going off. Alright, that was really, really scary. They're all sitting in the van, which is, you know, understandable. They're not supposed to be in here because I'm in here by myself. And their alarms just started going berserk. Hey, spirits. Confederate soldiers, are you here? Come to me. Make my cat ball go off. I was talking about how that board that I was holding, um, you get answers, yes and no, kind of like a Ouija board, but it's only like cooler in, in my opinion. So I will be playing that. I'm actually gonna do that right now. I'm gonna sit down on a chair and play the board and see what kind of answers I get before I make it down to the basement. I'm definitely gonna be turning on the lights. Lights on or off? Creepy as hell this place. Okay, it's not gonna make a difference. I have been in that room one time I broke my foot and I was working on sitting in the chair in the dining room working on a project Picked it up and I heard this weird noises and I went wow What the heck was that and I got up looked around and my eyes are going everywhere Turned back around like this and coming out of that foyer came out of that foyer There was a man with half his face going gray pants white shirt and his hands were right there at me and I went, oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, my God. Someone there? Hello? What the f***? The door opened on its own. All right guys, so we are coming up here. I don't have a lot of light and I have this REM pod in my hands. Okay. I feel like I can easily get lost in here. So I'm on the second floor right now. Oh my God, the energy is just getting so intense. So intense. I do not give anything permission here to touch me. There's something at the top of that st the stairs right now. What are the claims on the second floor? So the ball room is very active. There have been stories of people hearing a little girl's voice in there. There was another paranormal team that caught a full-bodied apparition in there. People have heard a ticking. So, you know, back in the day, they had that little ticker that do the stock. Mm -hmm. So the stock, and it played yeah. that noise, they would hear that in there. And there were those in that room at that time. Okay. Um, they also played billiards in there. So people have heard like billiard balls hitting each other. So some residual sounds and energy still. Absolutely, yeah. I'm gonna bring you guys to the ballroom. As you can see, there's a ton of rooms. Because oh I'm not gonna lie, Shit just got real. What the f am I doing? Why am I doing this? This is like not okay right now. All right, so I'm gonna turn this device on. You can communicate with me through this device. All right guys, I'm in here <laughs> completely alone right now. This is the ballroom area. What the f was that? There's something squeaking behind me. What the hell is that? Can you make that device go off for me? Can you show me that you're here? Can you show me that you're here with me somehow? I just heard a woman. Guys, there is something squeaking behind me and I don't know what it is. I feel like it's a scale. It is so dark in there and I have to walk in there by myself. Oh my God. There is just a bang. Who's here with me? Oh my God, what is that? Not gonna lie, I'm just like completely exposed to this dark hallway right now. I feel like there's a little girl here that likes to show herself. Did you die here? I'm gonna sit in this chair so you can come and talk to me. Holy f I just saw something behind me. I wonder if you guys saw that too. 
Who's here with me? There is like banging everywhere around me right now. I feel like shit is about to get so intense. I'm gonna put the Spirit Talker app on. Oh my God, it says I'm beside you. I'm beside you. Who's next to me? Heidi, is that you? So apparently there's a little girl up here who died. I don't know if it was from the fire. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. I really wish there was something I can say that could help. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. It's so sad in here, like my heart is racing. Wilson. Wilson. Is there a Wilson here? I keep seeing like, I don't know if it's like shadows or just like energy floating. I can actually see it. Heidi, if you're here with me, can you make that device in the hall light up for me? So you can get very close to that device and it will go off. It will pick up your energy. I really want to talk to you. Just get to know you. There's a little bit of hesitation right now. I promise I come with the utmost respect. I don't mean any harm. Unlikely. Who's back there? Okay, there's nobody back there. Oh. Music. Did you just set my music box off? It sounded like my music box went off. I'm trying to find the room so I can move a camera out here. I don't know where that satanic room is. Oh, it's back here. I'm just grabbing a camera real quick. Jesus. Yeah, I'm getting out of that room. That room is creepy. I've got a device here. If you try talking to me, it's possible I can record your voice. My name is Josh. Can you tell me what your name is? Dude, that, how did I catch that? So loud. Holy shit. That sounded like a door slammed. Are you back here? This hallway is so creepy. gonna go off in a second. That sounded like something hit a freaking door. I'm gonna sit here. If you hit a door, can you do that again for me? Uh, 
heavy footsteps. So far, the, this room, this hallway, with like these side rooms, has just got a weird ass feeling to it. Tell you what, being alone in a big old building with so many reports of paranormal activity is creepy. I'm just trying to push past the fear. Thing is, everybody's literally three blocks away from me. Nobody's monitoring cameras in this building. And I left my walkie talkie back by the bar. So like I legit have no way of getting hold of anybody. I mean, it seriously sounds like something freaking walking. Can you hit something hard for me, please? Validate to me that you're here. this room alone and I have boy. that boy there's a little boy here is this the little boy whoa that was a loud knock that sounded like it came from the master bedroom so there's a story I'm I'm assuming everywhere I think I've seen it twice already online um, apparently there's some shield when you try to enter the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. A good friend of mine that it was, it was my coworker, she doesn't work at the chamber anymore, but she was doing an interview up here. They all started doing the master bedroom and this one guy tried to go in and he was just like, you know, this, it didn't zap him, but it, he said, oh, wow, what, what's this, you know? Andrea said, oh yeah, right, because she really wasn't a believer, you know? So she tried to go through it and actually bounced her back. And that was all she needed. For some reason, and we, we don't know why, Sally didn't want him in there that time or didn't like this group of people. And that's the only time she's really ever forced a lady, a girl, not to go in that master bedroom. But yeah, it was very true. So now she's definitely a believer that Sally's here and some other stuff is here. I'm gonna make my way to the master bedroom. I heard that somebody can create what we call a force field. Something that's very, very strong. Secrets. Secrets that will push people away if they enter into the door. That was a loud knock. If there's anybody in here, I want to talk to you. Sally, are you here? again. Is somebody approaching me? Sally, are you here? Over there. Over there? The device just said over there. Over where? You gotta show me. Are you in the room over there? Oh my God, I hope we just caught that on the audio. Are you in the room over there? Somebody was just coming around the corner. Hello? You hear that? What the f is that? What was that? I'm so confused. It sounds like somebody's legit in here with me. Scary. Scary! Don't be afraid if you are saying, I'm scary. I'm not here to harm you. I just want to talk. Give me a sign that that's what you want. Before I make it down to the basement, I'm definitely going to be turning on the lights.
creepy as hell this place. Okay, it's not gonna make a difference. Someone there? Hello? What the f the door opened on its own. Yo! Yo! What? Who opened this door? Huh? You guys didn't open the door. No, we're all in the car. I literally just caught it on the camera opening. No, we're here. F Jesus, guys. All right. Door was locked and closed, and it opened up all by itself. I caught the sound of that on camera. I was setting up the camera right there. Can you do that again? Whatever did that? I wonder if it was a spirit of some sort going downstairs. Like the angry spirit that lives down here. Hello, spirit. Are you downstairs? Man, I, I legit thought one of the crew members, like Omar, Tiffany, if anyone opened this door, but they did it. They, they, they were sitting in that van. You would have heard them walking on the wooden floors outside on the porch. But they were in the van. And this is exactly why I am not gonna stop rolling camera. Because when you turn off the cameras is when things start to happen. I'm gonna try this board out and see what happens. Let's sit right here at the dining. I got a security camera over there and camera over here, which is you guys. This thing has not gone off yet, but if it does, we're gonna see it. All right, so let's go ahead and ask some questions. If that was in fact a spirit that lives here in this house, whether you're a demon or a jinn or a or a good entity, whatever you are, can you give me a sign on this spirit board? Can you make it spin? For the record, this is a piece of wood that spins like this. If we do get answers, we're gonna know. Are you here with me right now in this room? Talk to me. Use this device to communicate with me. I hear something walking in the house. I think it's on this main floor over here. It is frustratingly like weird. There's like a depression all of a sudden that wasn't here before. Hello spirits. Or hello everybody. Come join me for dinner. Do you want to have dinner with me? Do you want to have dinner with me? Do you want to open that door for me? I felt like every time I said, do you want to have dinner with me? They were coming and like something was moving. And keep in mind, 9,000 soldiers were supposed to be fed here every day for the two weeks that they were here. Do you want to have dinner with me? Come inside for dinner. Come have dinner. Whatever it was, it went away. There was something walking around. Stop. No, f*** that. Guys, I literally just seen like a man- Oh my god, that freaked me out. I just seen like a man's face peeking around the door over here. I doubt the camera caught that. It was more, more of a mental thing than, than anything. sit right here that I, f I have a feeling that door is gonna open again I'm gonna sit right here and just listen in so you guys want to talk or what apparently what bear was telling us off camera he was saying that if you start to hear dogs barking then that means that there's spirits in the area like on the property or like are showing themselves the fact that there are caves underneath this place is mind boggling. Every time I start talking, I feel like I'm hearing something. Fine, don't show yourself. It's 11, 12, and I've beat the person that tried to stay here alone last. I hold the record, yeah. But for how long, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, who's that? Heidi, if you're here with me, can you make that device in the hall light up for me?
I really want to talk to you, just get to know you. There's a little bit of hesitation right now. I promise I come with the utmost respect. I don't mean any harm. Unlikely. Unlikely. I feel like there's a lot of mistrust. Definitely feel that. There is some sort of hesitation. This spirit app is actually answering pretty directly. <sighs> there is some hesitation here. I'm trying to figure out why. Is the man telling you not to trust me? Yeah. Absolutely. I need the man to back away for a moment. Allow the other spirits to come through. Please back away. I'm looking to communicate with Heidi, the little girl who has been seen up here. I don't mind speaking. I don't mind speaking. Okay, is there any, let me, let me actually turn on my spirit box off right now because I feel like I might be communicating with this little girl. Let's see if there's anything more that she can communicate with me. Spirits are able to communicate through any piece of technology by using the energy. They are able to just manipulate. I like can't even keep my focus right now because I see something in this doorway. Let me actually just turn on this device right here because she said, I don't mind speaking to you. So this is the ballroom. Right next door is like a classier meeting area where they would like wine and dine. <laughs> so some good memories happening up here, some good energy, some good vibes. But that's not to say that the energy on the third floor is not trickling down here. So I'm gonna start this spirit box and I am going to also use my dousing rods. First, I'm gonna ask some yes or no questions. Something just like totally turned this camera off after I was already filming for 10 minutes. Wait, what camera? And this footage then? Wait, it just turned it off? It turned oh, off. Yeah. Like the clip isn't even here anymore. Oh. I can't reach the black. All right, I'm gonna unlock the door. Can you come back down? It's just so irritating because I was like literally telling this man that he needs to let other, other people like come through and communicate and the camera just goes black. This happens sometimes to us. And like sometimes the spirit will like totally drain the f out yeah. of your sh Okay, so I had to take a look. Nice little push like Disney. That's nice. You're not allowed to touch me and you know that. So we're back up here. Guys, I don't know what the f just happened. Not gonna lie, my heart is racing. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the spirit box back on. <sighs> Something just drained that battery. Turn the camera off completely. Can you tell me about some of the deaths that occurred here? One of the biggest ones and one that's probably talked about the most is Scotty, who was a resident. This was apartment buildings up here. He had just found out about his son dying and he ended up killing himself. Mm -hmm. And we do believe that Scotty's spirit does haunt this building. Scotty, are you here with me? Oh my God, yes. Scotty, I need you to let others come through and talk to me. Is that okay? Holy crap. Some, someone's walking. Scotty, is that you? I come with the utmost respect. I do not give you permission to touch me. Watch me. You are not allowed to touch me. I do not give you permission. I am surrounded with love and light. I have the protection of my angels and my ancestor and my grandfather. I am protected by my ancestors, my angels, and my grandfather. You are not to touch me. Breathe. Can't breathe. Are you making it hard for me to breathe up here? Guys, I'm like so out of breath. Yes. Something with us. What the f is that? Okay, Scotty. Look straight. Look straight. Scotty, if you're here with me, can you point to where you are standing in this room? Yeah. That's where I'm hearing everything, by the way. You're watching me.
there are noises all around me right now. I hope this camera does not turn off. I don't want to lose the footage. <sighs> Scotty, I'm so sorry for what happened to you. I understand why you're angry. I really do. There are noises all around me. <laughs> Scotty, are you willing to talk to me tonight? Sure. Is there what, more than one person here with me right now? Yes. Can you tell me your name through the device in front of me? Why do you like to scare people? Chris. Do you like to scare people here? Yes. Okay. Scotty, do you realize you're not allowed to touch me? You know what's so weird though, guys? I feel like it's not even Scotty that wants to touch me. I feel like there's something darker here than Scotty. That's kind of what I'm picking up on. I can't even tell you like how nerve wracking it is. I can show you. Yeah, I'm telling you. There's something a lot heavier and darker here. I said, I'm here. I hope the camcorder picked that up. I'm here. Where's here at? This camera had to pick that up. See? He's got a camera down there. Something keeps walking down there. There was a male voice, like plain as day, said, I'm here. I don't know if you guys, if you can tell like my voice, how it echoes in here. So that's how I can tell that there's a voice inside here because the echo. I heard you. I'm gonna go grab that chair. You know, just because you're dead doesn't mean you can't see me or communicate with me. I came here to buy some alcohol. I know this was a speakeasy.
They said that they see children and hear, hear children. I want to see if I can stick my back to that hallway because that hallway is so freaking. I'm telling you, whatever's down here. Oh, look, I just came to this hallway where I've been hearing all the noises, the hallway that feels the creepiest, and the alarm just went off. This area of the building is so freaking cold compared to the rest of it. It's like I'm getting hot flashes. Are you affecting me right now? I'm not running anymore. I'm here to face my fears. Who are you? I can hear you. Do something louder for me. In the next episode of Alone Paranormal Edition. Who is that making There's three of us. This scares the living shit out of me. Whoa! They just shove it off.